Manchester United lost 4-0 at Selhurst Park to Crystal Palace in the same week that Man United reject Jadon Sancho reaches a Champions League final. Football is magic sometimes. And well, the topic of today's video is unfortunately not trashing Manchester United. I wish I could make every video like that, but unfortunately that is not the topic of today's video. Neither is Jadon Sancho actually. We're actually going to be talking about Mbappe, killing Mbappe. The, the best player in the world, the Messi or Ronaldo regen, the, the guy that is going to take the crown from Messi as being the best player of all time. But it's, it's just not going to happen. Because Messi and Ronaldo are, are once in a lifetime, like, players. You, you, the levels that they set and the, the levels that they were performing at, Haaland, Foden, Saka, Mbappe, Bellingham, all of these players, none of them are going to go reach those levels. It's impossible. It, it, it is impossible. Me, Messi, nobody is going to ever be able to replicate what Messi did. No one is 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 going to be as much of a freak of nature in in like all physical areas like Ronaldo was. That it's not going to happen. It is not. And is Mbappe a fraud? Yes and no. And I'll explain why. Because Mbappe is a Mbappe is a good player. Mbappe is a very, very good player. And we've seen it. We've seen him his his goal his game against us for Monaco in the Champions League. Um his hat trick at the Camp Nou. Uh we we've got the World Cup final. We we've got both of his World Cup campaigns. There are games after games after games. We've got Mbappe against Real Madrid in the Champions League two seasons ago. The the guy's a joke. He's, he's a joke of a footballer. His speed, his, his technical ability, his finish, he's a, he's a joke, right? But I feel like he's wasted too much time at PSG and he hasn't got enough done. And that, that sounds crazy because of all the league titles he won, but when you're, when you're at PSG uh, and w when you get to a level of, of winning the amount of league titles that, we, that you do, um, Bayern Munich, Juventus... Um, PSG, even City to an extent, Man United when they were dominating. You have to add European success on, on the top of that. It's, it's all well and good dominating dominating your league and, and showing that you are the best in your league outright. But you need to show you're the best in Europe, the best in the world. We did that last season. Bayern Munich, ha Bayern Munich have done that multi on multiple occasions. M Manchester United did that. Treble. Treble for Manchester United. Treble for Manchester City. Treble for Barcelona. Treble for Bayern Munich, treble for Inter Milan. They they've done that, they've done that. Champ multiple many many Champions Leagues for Real Madrid. They they've done that, right? Liverpool, many Champions Leagues. They've done that, right? They've done that. PSG haven't. Mbappe hasn't. And Mbappe, yes, you have Neymar. Yes, you have Messi that were were at um at PSG to help them win the Champions League, but it was. It's Mbappe's legacy at the end of the day. It was Mbappe's leg. Yes, at one point, it was meant to be Neymar's legacy to, to get out of Messi's shadow. But then, obviously, Mbappe, Mbappe's there. Mbappe's playing for PSG alongside him. Mbappe's doing what he did for France in in the 2018 World Cup as a teenager. He's he's doing what he did um, in the World Cup final um, two years ago. What he did was special. Right, what he did was special, and he's produced many a special moments. But I think going on twenty seven, not having a Ballon d'Or, not having a Champions, uh, a Champions League trophy to your name, y you can't be considered the heir to Messi or Ronaldo's throne, in, in, in my opinion. Um, and that that's the same for any player because I, I, Haaland is is the only one of these these young crop of players that have got even got close to a Ballon d'Or. And Messi was still there. And Messi still still took it from him. And it's just like, yes, soon, in, in, in probably this year and, and the seasons that come after this, we will start getting new Ballon d'Or winners and such and such. But no one is, is going to have the amount that Ronaldo has. And no one is certainly going to have the amount of Ballon d'Ors that Messi has. And I just think that the expectations put on players like Rashford when he came through, um, like Mbappe, like Haaland, to be the next Messi and Ronaldo, it's, it's dangerous, uh, it's damaging to um, 
the legacy that that player is going to leave because you can't compare people to Messi and Ronaldo because you can't be as good as them. You look at you literally look at the people that I put a tier below Messi and Ronaldo in my lifetime. I've watched Gareth Bale, I've watched Neymar, I've watched Suarez, I've watched Aguero, I've watched De Bruyne, I've watched Modric, um, I've watched Salah. I've I've watched all of these players, right? Neymar and Bale were the closest I've seen to Messi and Ronaldo and there is still a great difference there is still a huge huge level and Gareth Bale is one of the best players I've ever seen and there is still a huge gap between him and Ronaldo and him and Messi so you're never going to you're never going to be as good as those two and and talking about Mbappe as a whole and and him being a bit of a fraud I just think his ego got in the way and and having his boyhood club um obviously him being a Parisian um having them basically throw everything at him and given everything he wants. Yes, it's an enticing offer, but I feel like he should have moved on earlier and his career and his legacy is going to suffer from that because, yes, he's got all these league and titles, these French Cups, etc. Uh, he's even got the World uh, the World Cup of France, that historic uh, World Cup final performance when they came right as up. They will go down in history. He's got all of that. But... I, I just think that he needs European silverware. He needs he needed to go to Real Madrid a lot earlier. He needed to go was it last season or was it the season before? I can't remember the one where he kicked up that huge fuss and basically was meant to go to Real Madrid but didn't go. I can't remember if that was last that was the season before, wasn't it, I think. But yeah, he he needed to go to Real Madrid then because it's just these these Champions League campaigns at PSG are just and not doing his ability justice um, because PSG are a failure in Europe and I know what being a failure in Europe looks like I know what it feels like and there is never a time where I watch PSG and I think you're going to win the Champions League there, there is something about the way they build their squads that is just unbalanced every single time and I, and I don't really I don't really get it I don't. I don't really get how you can always have such an unbalanced side. I. I honestly think the best PSG team I saw isn't the one that took them to the Champions League final. It's Ibrahimovic, Cavani, Lucas Moura, Verratti, um, Thiago Silva, Sirigu. It's all of those people from like twenty twelve, like twenty fourteen, twenty fifteen, like that sort of that sort of era of football. Um, that's the best PSG team I've seen. I think. The Champions League final performance against Bayern Munich was a disgrace. I think the way Mbappe played and the way Neymar played was a disgrace. Especially Neymar. Neymar looked so uninterested as soon as he didn't look like, even look like he wanted to try drag PSG into that game, like back into that game after they went one 0 down. And it was it was a disgraceful performance from Neymar, and it wasn't a good performance from Mbappe. And time and time again, Mbappe has had performances like I said, like the hat trick at the Camp Nou. Um, the that performance against um, Real Madrid two seasons ago. He's had standout performances in the Champions League, and he's either let himself down in in the next leg by by not performing at a standard that is seen as acceptable for his his talent, or who has been let down by his teammates. So I don't know. I can't from from an international standpoint and and from playing for France. Other than his Euros performance, which was actually a disgrace, um, I think he's one of the best players I've seen uh, from an international standpoint. But at a club standpoint, I don't think I can take him seriously until he he leaves PSG, which obviously looks to be at the end of end of the season when he goes to Real Madrid, and then we we can reassess uh, reassess the situation then at the end of at the end of that season. But I just think I can't take him seriously at a club level with what he's. Like the only achievement that he's, the only thing he's achieved at club level that is impressive, is is that Monaco title win, and and even that Champions League run and some of the performances he put in. Um, I I don't think he's topped that in a, in in the club, um, in club football. I I think club football his he's went he's went downhill. Um, his biggest achievement came at Monaco, and he hasn't topped that at PSG, and I think maybe his legacy would look different and things would look different for him if he didn't win the league at Monaco and he just went he went to PSG 
after having a good season at Monaco but not winning the league maybe things would look different but I think winning the league at a smaller team and then like I don't want to say smaller team but like um, breaking the status quo and then going and joining the team that sets the status quo and then everything going back to the status quo I just don't think that's an impressive achievement uh, personally and obviously, I like I like I keep saying I won't discredit anything he's done at the World Cups because he's he's a different he's a different animal when it comes to France in the World Cup, and he might even be a different animal this time round in the Euros compared compared to to last time out. But you know, I just I just think at club at club level is his career is a bit of a joke, and um, he he just needs to. I think he just wasted too much time at PSG, and I I I think that will be used against him a lot. When when he inevitably retires, and I think he might not have as many trophies as he, well, or as many European trophies and and tr trophies that hold weight. Um, in 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 arguments like this, when it comes to the end of his career, and it, that could potentially be sad to see, but who knows? Let me let me know down in the comments below what you um what you think of Mbappe. If you think he's overrated, if you think he's fairly rated. Um, obviously like the video if you enjoyed subscribe to our channel if you haven't already check out the rest of the videos on the channel if this is the first video you've watched and uh, yeah I've been Nathan I'll see you in the next one peace shut down cases they belly dots to the cartsy faces chasing chasing the bad guy chasing you don't want to be the one like ace and like GTA trying to turn them out wasted aye tell about bitch come break it break it body come mad come shake it shake them get back to the basics basics bro down shut down cases they belly dots to the cartsy